Hello, my friends. Once again, Jacob is here. That's me, Jacob Israel. If you're new to the channel, I thank you for pressing play. Do me a favor, while you're there, smash the like button. You're gonna like the video, I promise. Don't forget to leave a comment and make sure you subscribe. Why haven't you subscribed already? I don't know, my channel's pretty fun, it's pretty cool. If you're new to the channel, I noticed that a lot of people, a lot of new people have been subscribing. I guess the video that I just did with Eddie Bravo and uh, Alex Jones, I guess that's it. Yeah, and yes, I did know that he was wearing the uh, the t-shirt as a goof on Eddie. As I've said in like a bunch of comments, I had to cut that out, audio reasons. If you think an organization's evil, why would you wear their merchandise? I'm just saying, that was my point. I guess everybody doesn't understand that you, if you just listen to what I'm saying and not add to what you think I'm saying, you might find that uh, the answer's already there. Yeah, so after getting blasted and everybody saying, yeah, it's perfectly normal for him to be wearing that shirt, even though, hey, you know, they were talking about how he had a problem with the fact that they were sending kidnapped children out to space where they were being used as human uh, slaves. Yeah, that's, uh, that's right. So uh, if he thinks that something like that's possible and he's saying 90% of NASA missions are secret and I've been told by high-level NASA engineers that you have no idea. So there's so much stuff going on. Like if you feel like there are slave children kidnapped that are being sent to Mars by NASA, would you still goof on Eddie and wear that shirt? I'm just saying, people, use your heads. Use your heads. It's all about symbolism. I'm not saying he's a shill and a sellout. My goodness, I put a graphic up. All right, can we get back to the show already? Anyway, today we're talking about Planet Nine, Planet X, Nibiru. That's right. It's uh, an interesting paper was just published by the guys at Caltech. Yeah, but that's not all the news we have, right? Elon Musk's SpaceX Dragon, it just docked. That's right, the Dragon has docked at the space station with the dummy named Ridley. Yeah, that's right, from the Alien movies? Yeah, that's interesting, right? And we talked about the Dragon and how it was coming and it was gonna go. Remember, if you're new to the channel, this makes sense. Okay, just go with it, go with it. Not just that, but um, a space race, right? The space race has been on for some time. Why? Why has the space race been on? Why did Trump just come up with like the Space Force? Why has uh, China landed on the dark side of the moon for the first time? Why are they trying to create a moon space station? Why is it so important right now to get up there? Not just uh, NASA in Bigelow airspace, right? You know Bigelow, the billionaire that went on the air and said that there are aliens already among us? Remember that guy? Yeah, he's not some YouTuber saying they're aliens. He's a billionaire that uh, has plans of putting condominiums in space. A lot of weird stuff going down going up in the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the space, the space, you know, out there in space. Boom. Does it mean, does it mean that they're aliens? Does it mean that Planet Nine is on its way? That's what they're saying. <laughs> that's, that's what they're actually saying. This is, um, I read this, there's a great article on digital trends. You can check this out. Planet Nine, they're saying, now check this out, okay? Planet Nine, if you don't know anything about Planet Nine, okay. There's this belief, this ancient Sumerian legend. I have a bunch of shows on this where I break it down and I go over, just check them out. They got a lot of views, like a billion views, all right? Those are like one of the few videos that actually did go viral. It's actually the one video that went viral that got my channel to where it is now. Like if I didn't have a bunch of weird stuff happen to me to get me to talk about Nibiru, Nibiru, Planet Nine, Planet X, Circopolis, it goes by a lot of names. If I didn't have all that weird stuff, you wouldn't be talking to me right now. And then you'd be missing out, right? Because we're friends now, right? We're friends, we're buddies, you and me, right? We're muchachas and muchachos. Okay, moving on. So this, uh, to me, this is a uh, passion for me to talk about this planet that I don't know, that I don't know if it really exists, but before they were saying it exists, I was saying they're gonna start saying it exists. That's true, that's on the record. 
That's like years ago. I said it wouldn't be too long in about a year's time. So I'm claiming this, I'm gonna do another one of those, I'm gonna do one of those predictions, right? I don't even make predictions, but I'm gonna say, I think 2019 is gonna be the year for Planet Nine. There, I said it. I think they're gonna discover it 2019. It's out there now, okay? Can't take it back. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Because I didn't say that God told me. That's the problem with a lot of those YouTube people that talk about God. They say, God told me this, and God told me that. Let me tell you something. When I do all these shows, I just, I don't know where it comes from. I get these ideas. I get, I'm inspired. And then I follow these little breadcrumbs. And next thing you know, I got this awesome show that I put together in like five seconds. That's right. And that's why I'm always wearing workout clothes. Because I'm always right back from the gym. And I got to go to work. So why don't I get to my point, right? So now they're saying that Planet Nine is a lot closer than they thought and a lot bigger, okay? It could be five times the size of Earth and it's closer. The data was, that, that's being used for the existence of Planet Nine, they basically, they're using, okay, so here's the deal, the study of the Kuiper Belt. You got this area outside in outer space called the Kuiper Belt, okay? And they got all these little objects, right? It's like, all, it's, imagine like an asteroid belt, but bigger and icier. And then you got like the outer Oort cloud. Here's a picture. Okay, so you got these Kuiper Belt objects, right? And they've been studying them. They've been measuring them. What they've noticed is that something is moving them and grouping them and moving them around. Doesn't make a lot of sense. The word is perturbed. They're perturbing them, right? It's kind of like the big planets coming in. They're like, oh, you're bumming me out. Well, you go to your room, right? I'm perturbed. I'm perturbed. The planets and the asteroids. And I said that, you know, you may see an increase of like these fireballs here and there because if they're bouncing stuff around, right? because you have different uh, things coming in and moving things around, it's a possibility that more stuff may be flung in our direction as it comes in. Now, a lot of people, uh, this is uh, what, what they call disinformation, right? So to get people to stop talking about a certain thing, you have to have a lot of people put out a lot of disinformation about a certain thing. You know, like when I talk about Planet X, Planet Nine, Nibiru, and all that jazz, I'm not talking about a planet that's going to blow us up. Right? I'm not that guy, but there are a lot of people that are saying that the planet is going to come in and crash into us because of the myth. Now, does that mean it's going to happen? I don't think so. Right? They're not saying that either, but they're saying that they think that this, this orbit, which they say, by the way, comes around, but every now it's 10,000 years. All of these things, they're all connected, right? And they're all lining up with this Sumerian mythology of this ancient race of aliens called the Anunnaki that were involved in, you know, genetically engineering the human race and that they're supposed to come again, right? It's just, there are a lot of people that believe it. I'm not saying it's true, but I, I am saying there's something significant to it. I wouldn't be talking about it. I feel like there's something significant to it. And now they're basically saying that there's a one in 500 chance Okay, so it, it's the, the evidence is there. It's, it's real, okay? And it's uh, 2019, it's gonna be Planet Nine's year. So with this information out, right, with all everybody talking about Planet Nine just in the last, you know, couple of couple of days, right? Now I think it's it's fascinating that SpaceX Dragon's mission, the uh, the Dragon capsule that it just docked. Okay, check this out. Stage one, entry burn has started. Elon Musk, this morning, he was very, uh, he was showing a lot of, I mean, he was like really emotional and he was drained because I guess they were up all night and I don't even know. Crew Dragon, okay, so the successful launch without people, as I said before, it wasn't without people, it was without people, okay, it was they put a dummy there. What they're doing is they're simulating how they can start doing commercial flights to the space station because they're starting to get to that place where, you know, they want to, they want to put people out in space. That's what they want to do. That's the, the big push, get to Mars, get to, you know, but I think that there may be more to it. I think that all of these little things that we're hearing from the booms that we're hearing all over the world to the crazy um, mysterious signals, the repeating radio blasts that we're getting hit with, which is information, all of these things happening at the same time. Remember all the satellites and all the telescopes going down? All of these things, they could be connected. 
I'm just saying, like if you're watching a movie and the alien invasion begins, this is the way the movie starts, right? With the people talking about the possible planet and then this, this over here and then this over here and then everything you get, you get together. And then they're putting, they're putting a, a dummy. into space and fought the aliens. So I'm just saying, you know, it just doesn't bode well if you're looking at things as a movie. And I like to say that life is. That's why you should be enjoying every bit of it. But this is the deal, right? The moon is like the big target, the Space Force. Israel just teamed up once again with SpaceX. Their lander, it's, uh, it's about to, uh, it's about to land. And you know what they called this lander? Because, you know, this was big news. Israel now getting to the moon, okay? They're calling it beer sheet. It's beer sheet. It's just, an, I mean, what, why is it? Everybody think that I'm saying something? I'm not saying something. It's beer sheet. Beer sheet. I think that's the way you pronounce it. You know, it's a beer sheet on the moon. <laughs> so, no, it actually means in Hebrew, it means in the beginning. I think that's cool. I think that's cool. It's very symbolic, very significant. And the cost of this thing was like $100 million, not a lot of money at all. I mean, it's like space travels, like in the, uh, in the future for all of us. Okay, so here's the deal, people. Here's the deal. All of this stuff is not meant to scare you. All of this stuff is to get you excited. Get, the ex get you knocked out of your, your normal nine to five job working at the Piggly Wiggly, thinking that, you know, you might lose your job because some big conglomerate just bought it and blah, blah, blah. Right? Because I know that a lot of people are worried about their, their uh, jobs in the future, especially with AI and all the things that are going down. But I think AI, it, maybe it's being uh, developed because there's other things coming our way and maybe there's some kind of space war going on. Isn't that fun? Hey, you know what? I hope that you're goofy too, in a good way, because I got to get to work. I gotta get, let's be, let's be honest, right? You're watching YouTube here. You're not watching National Geographic. So take whatever I say with a grain of salt uh, and put your faith in more because there is more and there shouldn't be any divisions among us, right? You know, like a lot of people online, they say uh, that you, you can't listen to this person. You should listen to this. You got all these people attacking everybody else, all right? I'm going to try not to ever get involved in that stuff because there's one thing that we need to get across to people, and that is hope and more and faith and more. And there is more, okay? All you gotta do is seek it. I'm telling you, if you do, you know, my little slogan on the channel, if you're new, I tell everybody, teach me the truth, no matter what the cause. You wanna find out if there's some kind of a God, you wanna find out if your life means more, you wanna find out if you're more than what you've been told, just, just ask for the truth, no matter what the cost. I guarantee it'll be given to you. And I love each and every one of you. I hope you have the best day ever. Don't forget to buckle up, subscribe, share, and have the best day ever. Bye-bye.